Hello everybody, Elite Weather Forecasting. My name is Mr. G with your weather forecast and I have a lot to talk about today and only 10 minutes to do so. So let's fly through it right now as we deal with two storms. One that's going to be departing on the east coast and one that's going to be moving through from the southwest. Let's deal with the old storm that's headed off the east coast right now because we're seeing some snow over the interior portions of the northeast and into New England and down through some of the uh, southern Great Lakes states. So from Maine down to portions of Ohio as well as Kentucky. We're seeing a bit of snow out there. You guys are going to pick up a few inches today across portions of the Northeast. We're not going to see any snow over most of the I-95 corridor, the big cities, Boston, New York, Philadelphia, and D.C. You're not going to see any snow. Boston and Philly might pick up a little bit of snow over the far western suburbs, but other than that, I don't think we're going to see any snow over the big cities in the northeast. And we have our next storm developing down here across the southwest here. All of this here is that next storm that's kind of coming together that's going to be moving across the southern plains in the days to come. Let's take a look at our next map. And we do have those back-to-back -back storms. And here's where our current east coast storm sits right now off the coast of the eastern U.S. and the northeast there. And it's going to be headed on off toward the northeast later today it's going to be taking its rain and snow with it rain again along the coastal sections snow over the mountains and the interior of the northeast for the remainder of the afternoon and we're going to be looking at those winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings over there mostly the mountainous areas of maine vermont new hampshire and upstate new york and western massachusetts we're going to be seeing the winter storm advisories but down through Pennsylvania is going to be a winter weather advisory. We're going to be seeing much lighter snowfall accumulations down there. A little bit heavier accumulations through Maine and the higher elevations of Vermont and New Hampshire where we could be seeing still five to eight inches possible in some locations. But again, that's going to be very isolated. Here's a look at that snowfall totals across the eastern U.S. for your day today. We're going to be seeing those symptoms still snowfall mainly in that three to five range but some folks are going to pick up one to three down through portions of New York as well as Pennsylvania but down there at the far south we're going to be seeing less than an inch of snow so not too much for you guys to worry about there here is our next storm taking shape across the southwestern U.S. and there is our big dip in the jet stream there that's our energy coming down that's that colder air being pulled down from the north there there is our area of low pressure right there our upper level low that's going to be moving across the southern plains and you're seeing the energy being driven in by our strong jet stream coming from the south. Our low pressure area is going to set up there across western Texas tomorrow and we're going to be seeing some snow back over towards Albuquerque and Flagstaff, Arizona, but we're going to be seeing rain showers here to the east there across Texas with those thunderstorms developing as well. Now our storm is going to quickly move into the northeast. We're going to see that guy go from west Western Texas to uh, the Maine and Vermont and upstate New York by the time we get to Wednesday night. So that storm is going to make a beeline across the southern U.S. and up the southeastern coastline. So we're going to be seeing those snow showers coming to the uh, uh, to the northeast as well. Uh, they might get a little bit closer to Boston. This storm might be a little bit colder than the last storm. So we might see a little bit of snow in some of the big cities with this storm. But we're going to still see light snow accumulations back toward the west and down through the Midwest and down to the south, the south the southern plains as well. But we're going to take a closer look and kind of break down this <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, we're going to break this storm down region by region here. Here's our storm, our track that it's going to take. Mostly a southern plain storm. We're going to see it along the Gulf Coast and eventually into the mid-Atlantic states and the northeast there as that storm makes that beeline across the southeastern United States. Now let's talk about that cold air. We're seeing that temperature departure. We're seeing very cold temperatures here across the west, Phoenix and Tucson and Flagstaff. We're seeing those temperatures below average today as they're dealing with that storm and the cold air in that storm. So a much colder storm than they're used to seeing. But we're seeing things slightly above average here across the Midwest and to the Northern Plains. Even though it's still cold. It's still in the 30s. But believe it or not, 
those temperatures in the 30s that we're seeing in Minnesota today are above average. We should actually be in the lower 20s. That's our average temperature for mid-January. We've been pretty much above average for most of the winter. We only had a brief period after Christmas that it was below average. Now, uh, well, I won't get into that, but there are some changes in the forecast coming up toward the end of the month as far as the temperatures have been across the Midwest and the Northern Plains as we see those temperatures plunge to below average for a time before a warm up for good in, fe in February. But again, here we go. Let's take a look at that cold air and that plume of cold air. It's going to move across Texas tomorrow and Oklahoma and portions of Colorado and Kansas as well. And we're going to be seeing that wintry precipitation move across the southern plains all right so now let's talk about that severe weather potential that's going to be the result of that cold air believe it or not that cold air contributes to the severe weather across the southern united states so that cold air is coming in on the back side of our low and then on the front side of our low we're going to be seeing that warm moist air coming off the gulf it is that interaction that battle zone between that warm and cold that fuels those thunderstorms so we're going to be seeing that potential for that severe weather tomorrow and tomorrow and Wednesday across the far southern United States. Here we are as we take a look at where our low pressure is going to be setting up tomorrow. And there it is. That's going to be that bringing in that Gulf of moisture and that cold air coming down out of the, the plains on the backside of that low. And here we go as we take a look. That deep moisture, that warm air and the instability coming off the Gulf that's going to be leading to those showers, thunderstorms, that severe weather, and those potential for tornadoes along the immediate Gulf Coast and we're going to be seeing uh, that storm coming into the plains tomorrow where we're going to be seeing some rain and snow here across West Texas and Northern Texas. Some of the snow can possess some thunder snow as well so we're going to be seeing snow, sleet and uh, uh, snow, sleet, and freezing rain with this precipitation here. Showers and thunderstorms down to the south there across central Texas. Again, when our low pressure center there is set up along the Gulf Coast of Texas and Louisiana, we're going to be seeing those thunderstorms breaking out right here, and we're going to have our cold, wintry precipitation to the north and west in our the deformation band of this storm system and thunder and it's like also going to be possible in that region as well so please be mindful on the roadways as we're going to have slippery conditions and y'all don't handle slippery weather very well across the southern states y'all not used to it and then as we move into the uh, latter part of your day tomorrow night we're going to be seeing that deformation band really develop a little bit more we're going to see more snow break out here across Oklahoma, Arkansas, and southern Missouri. We're going to be seeing some freezing rain down here near the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We're going to be seeing more mixed precipitation a little bit further to the south, but all rain south and east of Dallas and south of Lafayette and Little Rock where we could be seeing those showers and thunderstorms. And again, that area of low pressure is going to move across Tennessee. We'll be seeing that snow across the Midwest from Ohio over to Indianapolis, Indy, Illinois, Missouri, and Kansas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. Again, we'll see that wintry precipitation. Our line of thunderstorms is going to develop down here across Alabama, Central Florida, the Florida Panhandle here, and we're going to be seeing that line of thunderstorms. I'm not worrying about tornadoes in that line, more or less straight line winds and uh, heavy rainfall is going to be the primary threat and some flash flooding might happen but these storms are going to be moving pretty fast from west to east so I don't expect them to hang around in one area a long time so I'm not worrying too much about flash flooding and here we are as we take a look at our snowfall forecast for your area across the, the Midwest and down through Oklahoma and northern Texas we're going to be seeing mostly light accumulations about three to five inches is going to be the word tops out everything is gonna be less than that so uh, not too much in the way but a lot of snow compared to what you guys are used to and have seen so far and again those winter weather advisories are going to continue across the the southern plains and into the midwest as we head into your Wednesday so between Monday and Wednesday a hodgepodge of winter weather advisories my name is Mr. G that is your weather forecast thanks for watching I hope I got all the information out I had to rush you that had a lot of information to cover and not a lot of time leave your likes comments and subscribe bye bye